let's look at this uh, pattern of matches. So yeah, the first pattern you got one, two, three, four matches. So let me write, you got four matches here. And this you got four plus three, which is seven matches. And here you got four plus three, seven plus three, ten. So this is 13. Okay, four plus three, seven is 10, uh, 4 plus 3 is 7, 10, 13. And here I have written the total matches. So this is, this 11 is 4 plus 7. Okay, and then you've got 10 plus, 11 plus 10 is 21. So this is the total matches. And we want to find if this pattern continues, if when it comes to the 20th pattern, what would be the total number of matches? And the second question is, if, if Tracy uses 246 matches, how many squares are there? So yeah, for four matches, when she has used four matches, you can get one square. When she has used 11 matches, you can get two squares and so on. This imagined to be squares. They seem to be rectangles. Okay, doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, say, X as your pattern number and y as the number of match stick. So x is, okay, so x is, so let me start with one, I'll leave a space here, two, three, and four. So x is for the pattern number, and y is for the num total number of matches. So in the first, when you finish the first pattern, you used four matches. When you, when you did the second pattern, you used 11 matches then you use 21 and then you got 34 am i right 34 matches okay so let's find whether there's a relation between these two x and y now to find the relationship between any two numbers uh, let's first find the first difference and then we'll find the second difference if the first difference is not constant so let me explain that so this is the column for second difference so let me change color. So I'll write the first difference here. The first difference is 4 plus what is 11? So that is 7. Now 11 plus what is 21, which is 10. And 21 plus what is 34, which is 13. So the first difference, if you can see, this is increasing by 3. Okay, so the second difference, that is the difference in the first difference, is 3 here. So the second difference is constant. Okay, so we can say the second difference, this is the decision we need to understand. Uh, this is a rule. If the second difference is constant, second, second difference is constant, which implies or which means that this is a quadratic pattern. This is a quadratic pattern. So that's one decision that you can make. Okay, so let me write the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, let me change color, is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so this is a, the general formula for any quadratic equation where a, b, and c are numbers. Okay, so the second rule you can remember. So this is say the first rule, this is one rule, that when the second difference is, when the second difference is constant, it's a quadratic pattern. Rule number two, or the second rule is, if it's a quadratic pattern, A, which is the coefficient of X, I'm talking about this A, A is always half of the second difference, it is always half of the second difference. So the second difference, which is constant, is 3. So we can say half of 3 is 3 over 2. So let me write, this is 1.5. 3 over 2 you can write, or 1.5. So this helps to write the equation now. So this implies, you can say y is equal to in place of a, I can put 1.5. So it's, this is 1.5x squared plus bx plus c. So in my previous videos, I showed you how you can find b and c. 
by going backwards. In this video, I'm going to do it in a different way so that you know different ways of solving it. So now we want to find what is B. Now my purpose is to find what is B and what is C. Now for that, we need to pick any two values of X and Y. So we know when X is 1, Y is 4. Okay, so we know that when X is 1, Y is 4. So let us put this back in this equation. So in place of Y, I can put 4. So this implies 4 is equal to 1.5 times 1 squared. In place of x, I put 1. In place of y, I put 4. Plus b times 1 plus c. So this implies, this is 4 is equal to 1.5 times 1 is 1.5 plus b plus c. So now taking away, taking away 1.5 from both sides. If you take away 1.5 from this side, you can take away 1.5 from this side. So this becomes a linear equation, which is B plus C is equal to 4 take away 1.5 is 2.5. So let's write this equation and put this away. So B plus C we know is 2.5. Okay, now we need to find one more equation and then we are going to solve it. Okay, let me change color. So when X is 2, what is Y? When X is 2, so let us go back to the table. When x is 2, y is, y is equal to 11. This is x and this is y. So when x is 2, y is 11. This implies we're going to put this back in this equation. We're going to put this back in this equation. So this is 11 is equal to 1.5 times 2 squared plus b times 2. 1.5, no, B times 2, sorry, plus C. So this is 11. So first you have to simplify the exponent, which is 1.5 times 4 plus 2B plus C. Okay, so let me scroll down. So this is 11 is equal to 1.5 times 4 is 6 plus 2B plus C. So taking away 6 from both sides, you can say 2B plus C is equal to 5. Okay, I've taken away 6 from both sides. So if, let me show that. So if you take away 6 from this side, you can take away 6 from this side. And that's why this and this gets cancelled and you get 11 take away 6 is 5. So now you've got two equations. Uh, so let me use this color. So you got, let me write the second equation first. So I can say this is 2b plus c is phi that's the second this equation and you already have one equation b plus c is b plus c is equal to how much 2.5 okay so now this is a simultaneous equation in terms of b and c so i'm going to take away equate this say let me call this equation two and let me call this equation one so what we are doing here is we are going two minus one equation two minus equation 1. So you say like this or you do like this 2b take away b is b. b take away sorry c take away c will get cancelled and phi take away 2.5 is 2.5. So your b is 2.5. So this implies b is 2.5. So I can say now but what is b plus c? b plus c is 2.5 and B is 2.5. So you can say 2.5 plus C is 2.5. So your B is, sorry, so using your logic, 2.5 plus C is 0. This implies C has to be 0. C has to be 0. So let us write it again. So A we found is 1.5, which is half of the second difference. B we have found is 2.5 and C is 0. So Y is uh, 1.5. So let me write the equation of the general equation of Y in terms of X. So y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. 
So your A is 1.5, so Y is 1.5 X squared plus 2.5 X. You don't need to write C because C is zero. Okay, so let me do the first question. So the first question is, so let us check this, whether this equation does work. Okay, so you can, if you have a graphic calculator, I've already typed, oops. So go back to your table. Yeah, so let me delete it. So you can type in 1.5x squared plus 2.5x. This is in the table menu. Go to set from 1 to 20. I've gone from 1 to 20. Exit and then table. Can you see when it is 1, it is 4. When it is 2, it is 11. When it is 3, it is 21. And 4 is 24. So our equation is right. Okay. So now the question is, if it's in the 20th pattern, the total number of math stick. So yeah. So the question is, for question A, the question is when x is 20, or in the 20th pattern, what is the number of math stick? So let us put this 20 in this equation. So y is 1.5 times 20 squared plus 2.5 times 20. So let's get the calculator out again. So let me scroll this to this side. So go to run, run menu. You can use a simple calculator, 1.5 times 20 squared plus 2.5 times 20. So you got, you'll use 650. When you reach your 20th pattern, you will use 650 matches. You'll use 650 matches. Now for question B, I'm going to do it directly on the graphic calculator. So the question is, for question B, the question it's if Tracy is using 246 matches, how many squares are there? So I already got the equation. Go to your table menu and type in this equation and go to table. So let us scroll down to 246 on this Y. So can you see when it is 246, you got 12 squares. You can also solve this quadratic equation, but I don't uh, have the time. So yeah, the second equation, so let me do it. Y is equal to 1.5x squared plus 2.5x. So the question is, when Y is 246, when you use 246 math stick, how many squares you get. Okay, so you can solve this quadratic equation, but for that you have to use a quadratic formula. Or you can use this uh, table menu, and then when you've got 246 matches, you have got 12 squares. So here the answer is, there are 12 squares. You use, or you will make 12 squares, or in the 12th pattern, you will reach 246 uh, math sticks.